this is an interesting way to start a vlog hello i thought it was raining i got really excited um i'm liv and welcome to my channel <laughs> so today i thought i'd do well, this video i thought i'd do a little vlog and just vlog a couple days at home i'm kind of in the autumn mood right now i'm like really autumnal it's raining i actually can't tell i can't see that far i have put my hair in pin curls right now oh my god it is oh my god this is so perfect it's an autumn vlog and it's raining Think you can hear it but today i am seeing sam so you'll see sam in a bit i am currently in sam's jumper by the way i'm not dressed yet i am in such an autumn mood um brown lips on this is huda beauty in the shade game night it's one of their lipsticks i love huda beauty lipsticks by the way because they're so like i feel like they're so bougie like the magnetic clipping in fact my bag's here let me show you <laughs> This is the one I've got on. I love how you can see the shade on the top, by the way. So random. I don't talk about makeup on this channel. Like, I used to do makeup way back when, but then I, I do books now because I find that more interesting to me. But look, like, it's magnetic. How cool. I do have a massive makeup collection, by the way. Like, I'm obsessed with makeup. Um, but right now, I'm, I think I've only got two brown lipsticks. Like, I've got my Charlotte Tilbury, like, red colour that I've got. And then I've got this, which is my only dark brown I've got. Um, so today, I'm thinking about going to Superdrug and having a little look around to see if there's any lipsticks from Rimmel or elf i've never had an elf lipstick but mainly rimmel to see if they have any lipsticks that could be autumnal because the ones i found so far i'm sure have not spread my face i'll do that in a minute the ones i found so far are rare beauty in the shade strong and fenty in the shade sheer co and i want both of them i really like the look of them so i am looking for a drugstore option however i am cruelty free um, with my skincare, hair care and makeup, 100% cruelty free and I refuse to buy anything that's tested on animals and the majority of drugstore products are not cruelty free which is so annoying, like you'd think it's 2024 like why do brands still test on animals? There's so many other ways you can test makeup I am going to try and look for Rimmel stuff because Rimmel have recently gone 100% cruelty free elf is as well um you can look up there are websites which show you every single brand that is cruelty free and if you ever want to know if brands cruelty free you just look up the brand and say is it cruelty free and the official websites will tell you don't trust the actual brands telling you because i know l'oreal pretends that they're cruelty free but they actually sell to china which they have to test on animals there it's kind of like their rule yeah Revlon do the same, they pretend they're cruelty free but they're not. So just be careful with that because um, I just don't think that makeup should ever be tested on animals. Like it's just, it's disgusting. It's not a necessary thing to do. There's so many other ways to test things. Right now, the book of choice I am reading is this one. So this is Grandest Game by Jennifer Lynn Bonds. I've been so excited to read this book and it's really good right now. So I am at page 72. I'd love to get halfway through today. I've got the sprayed edges edition and it's got this design on the front, it's beautiful. Obviously I've taken the dust jacket off right now because I just don't want it on right now. And um, it's also signed. I think I did show you this in my book haul. It's signed. I am on a book buying ban now, officially. I can't buy any more book, can't buy any more books until I have read 20 books off my TBR because I have so many books. Like the majority of the books on here are now books I have never read before because I completely cleared out my shelf and put all the stuff that I have read in the other room. I displayed everything properly on my book cart. So all of my book cart is stuff that I've never read before as well. So I can quickly grab that. I got a lot of books. A lot of books that I'm very excited to read, so I need to read them first. I'm very much enjoying this book, it's really good. It's definitely like got the right characters in it. Like, we've got so many different characters that are from the other books. It's from the last book from the Brothers Hawthorne, and there's 
three, four, five characters from the last book that were introduced in that book that are in this book as well, which I like because you already know them, obviously. I'm fully ready for the day. It's not okay that I'm in such a Christmas mood. Like, I just feel like I have something in my eye. I just feel like I have been doing things recently which are so autumnal. I'll show you recently what I got from Lush, by the way, because I just kind of feel like I just want to show you that. This is just a vlog, like a chatty vlog. I feel like I'm in that mood now, that mindset of like, when is Christmas? Where am I? <laughs> Watching um, Zoe's old vlogmas, videos of her and Mark, and I am just in that mood where I'm like, oh my god, Christmas, where is it? It's so funny that I'm wearing fake tan, by the way, and all it's done is made me look alive. Like, I look like I am a person right now. I don't look like Casper. <laughs> got a few. I've used one. So, I used one yesterday. So, I got the Avo bath bomb, which I love that bath bomb. It is so simple. It just smells very... Um, relaxing very fresh so i got that it was so nice it's a bright green bath bomb really nice i also got intergalactic which is a um bath a bubble bar actually so i'm gonna get this person on tiktok recommended me get a sieve i'm gonna get that to crumble this into the sieve and then run that under the tap um so you don't burn yourself so this is what intergalactic the bubble bar looks like it smells exactly like Intergalactic, the bath bomb, which is my favourite bath bomb ever from Lush. I really have that as a bubble bath because it is my favourite smell ever. I also got Intergalactic, the bath bomb, because I had to. Got the Bright Side bubble bar, which is a orange bubble bar. Bubble bar, this is one of the first ever bubble bars I ever got. It's so orange and zesty, so nice. I should show you Intergalactic, the bath bomb, because it's just so pretty. This is Intergalactic, the bath bomb. It is massive. It smells so nice. It smells minty and fresh, this one here. And this is one of their new things. This is from their Minecraft collection. <laughs> I did a few different things. But I got this because it smelled the best. And this is the lava block. This is how it looks. This was the cheapest thing I got. This was £3.75. And oh, it smells like sherbet lemons. I was looking to get the TNT, but that was sold out. And I'm actually thankful because looking at TNT, the people using it online, it literally stains your bath bright red. <laughs> so my parents would not have been happy about that. I have not had bath bombs in bloody ages. Like the last time I remember using a bath bomb was probably at Christmas. So this is me buying myself bath bombs again and actually enjoying them. And I know I'm going back to uni, but I'm gonna be honest, I am such a homesick girl. Like I love being at home. I love being in my own comforts. I love my bedroom. I love my bookshelves and my autumnal room. It's autumn like every single day of the year. I don't really love being at uni and I feel that's okay to say not a lot of people say it but I feel like I just want to be honest and say it I really don't enjoy being at uni being in my flat having a shared kitchen it feels very suffocating at times being in a flat um my where I live as well it's a big city and there's always people out drinking and partying every single night and so sleep is a very rare thing to get there. It makes me sick at how much this flat costs. Um, and you'd think, oh, well, you got student finance. The student finance doesn't even cover how much my flat costs. It's honestly so expensive. And the reason I brought that up is because I was gonna say, I'm home basically every weekend. I, and it's not that I don't know how to live on my own. It's just, I don't really like the area in which my uni's at. I will happily go anywhere and be away from home, but I like being at home. So if I can be at home, I will be at home. And you might think, why don't you just commute to uni? And honestly, it would take me two hours on a train there and two hours back. And my uni days sometimes finish at seven o'clock at night. I'd be getting home at nine o'clock, having to get up the next day, 5am to get into uni, for eight, I need to get ready and do my hair and makeup. Um, it's just not a feasible idea, unfortunately. The last one I got, this is Toby's Magic Cow. 
it's literally just a white bath bomb, but then you can see it's got blue in it. And it actually reminds me of the ghosty bath bomb you get at Christmas. Christmas. Halloween. I was on a book buying ban, but I want to read this. <laughs> I've got makeup all over me. I am back home and I've been watching The Holiday for ages. <laughs> I've honestly only got 14 minutes left. I absolutely love this film. Me and Sam adore this film. And it's just- You caught me yawning. <laughs> I didn't actually, I got your ear. I didn't put your whole face on. We adore this film. It's such a good film. It's a great Christmas film. I picked up two books. <laughs> Sam bought me one of them. And I just couldn't not not bring these with me. I've got two books here. These were both uh, from the work. So I got one for five fifty, one for three pound fifty. So I bought number one. I got was Stinger by Mia Sheridan. This one was three pound fifty. This is a romance. It seems like it's a spicy romance. So it seems like this is about two people who have got Carson Stinger and Grace Hamilton. So Grace is, so we've got Grace Hamilton and Carson Stinger. So Grace Hamilton is a girl with a plan. So she's got goals and plans in life. And she never really considers what her heart wants in life. She just kind of is very much stuck with her routine and her plans in life. And then we've got Carson Stinger. He doesn't play by rules except his own. He is an adult entertainment person. So he basically is in the saucy, spicy industry. And so he doesn't have a direction. He doesn't have a plan. He takes every day as it is. He knows what women want for him and he knows what he has to offer for them. And he's happy like that. So these two end up getting together in Las Vegas. They have a steamy weekend with each other and the time is, they realise that their time is short together and two of their hearts get involved without their permission. And it's basically two people from two different worlds realising I like this person and I like this person too. And they don't really think they've got a future because they're from two completely polar opposite lives. I mean, he is an adult entertainer. Like he's in the only fans and stuff sort of world. He is very much your cookie cutter, typical good girl. So yes, I really like Mia Sheridan's books as well. She wrote Travis and Archer's Voice and I am slowly going through her books. I really like her writing. So I did pick this one up because I just thought I can't leave it. I read the back and that was it. I was like, oh my God, I need this book. I wanted to read um, Falling the Cage. No, Fall of the Gage, um, which I put on my birthday list. Yes, you did. Which I'm not allowed to buy. <laughs> also bought this other book. This one was £5.50, so a bit more. But this is a very popular book. You probably recognise it from the front. This is Yellow Face by Rebecca F. Kwang. I may have said that wrong. It's the number one global sensation, so it's very very much enjoyed by a lot of people. It's fun. There isn't much on the back, not much given to us, but it says, this is one hell of a story. It's just not hers to tell. When failed writer June Hayward witnesses her rival, Athena Lee, die in a freak accident, she sees her opportunity and takes it. So what if it means stealing Athena's final manuscript? So what if it means borrowing her identity? And so what if the first lie is only the beginning? Finally, June has all the fame she's ever, all, but the, what? Finally, June <laughs> has the fame she always deserved. But someone is about to expose her. What happens next is entirely everyone else's fault. This book is apparently meant to be about morals as well, so, there's a lot of talk about the fact that I think it's a white writer tries to write a book which is very much about Asia and about the past of Asia and like descendants and stuff and obviously the person whose book this was which is Athena she was Asian and so she obviously had a lot of experience and she's, she knows a lot about her culture. Whereas this white author who tried to take a story and just stole it for herself, it's like people coming after her, trying to cancel her saying, 
you shouldn't have written this. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like that morally incorrectness. It just sounded interesting. That, that's honestly why I got it. I do have it on my book beat the audiobook I saved I did like the look of it but I found it the paperback as well which it didn't used to be in paperback I don't know if anyone remembered that this first came out as a hardback in the Waterstones and I didn't want to get a hardback of it because I only want to get hardbacks if they're fantasy in all honesty or if like the cover is absolutely gorgeous and I need it but this I didn't really want in a hardback I just wanted a paperback for it and I found it and it does look really pretty the front cover is very eye-catching I mean it's bright yellow like you can't miss it it's the next day and I am in such a Christmas mood like I've got this like red ish lipstick on but I've also got my Christmas jumper on can you believe I've got the shade f10 on I used to use the shade f2 2 how am I using f10 I used to use f2 that is insane. But my books have arrived. So, didn't tell you this, but last night, Sam bought me some books. Yes, I did. <laughs> he caved. So one, I've got a sieve. Um, <laughs> I think I should explain that a bit better. Basically, what you do with the sieves for your Lush products is you take a bit of the bubble bars, crumble it into the sieve, and just hold it under the tap. Instead of what I've been doing, which is holding my hand under the tap and just burning my fingers. I've also got these two books. So these are both recommended. One of them was recommended by Destiny Sidwell and Sarah Curley. And the other one, I saw Destiny had read it on Goodreads and she rated it very good. So I checked the blurb and the blurb was right up my alley. So I'll talk about one by Sarah Corelli, by Sarah Corelli, the one recommended by Sarah Corelli. So this one is Firefly Lane. This one's by Kristen. I'm not sure because the writing is like quite scribbly. I'm not sure who that's by. This one is a coming of age novel about a generation of women who were both blessed and cursed by their choices. So this is set in 1974 and it's about this girl who's called Kate. Kate meets another girl called Tully. Kate and Tully basically grow up together and they we follow their friendship for 30 years and then a single act of betrayal tears them apart but will the fact that tragedy has struck bring them back together or is it done for that's what this is about it's a big book about friendship it's very much like a literary fiction book and sarah said like it's a real like friendship based book I then also got The Nightingale. This one is by Kristen Hanna. Oh my God, they're by the same person. Sam, they're both by Kristen Hanna. <laughs> oh my God. Set in World War II. So this one was about um, what it was like to be a woman in World War II when women's stories were all too often forgotten or overlooked. So we've got Vianne and Isabel. They're sisters and they're separated by years and experience, by ideals and passion and circumstance, each embarking on their own dangerous path towards survival, love and freedom in war-torn France. It is a heartbreakingly beautiful novel that celebrates the resilience of the human spirit and endurance of women. It is a novel for everyone, a novel for a lifetime. It just sounds really like up my alley. It's giving like, it's a historical fiction, obviously, set in World War II. I'm very much a person who's interested in the war and history anyway. So I just thought it'd be very interesting. And again, it's giving that literary fiction sort of vibe. And it's clear that it's not like a fluffy romance or anything. It's clear that it's gonna be deep and emotional. And I just thought these two books would be really good books to really open me up to the whole world of like deeper, meaningful books. I've also obviously bought yesterday Yellowface as well, which I also think is going to be like a deep book that's like, in my head, Yellowface is reminding me of the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I can see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and then these books, are, in a way, The Nightingale is reminding me of The Things We Leave Unfinished, which was by Rebecca Yaris. Um, but yes, I'm very excited to read these and hopefully I will enjoy these, but I got these both from Amazon. It's the next day. I am going on a date tonight, so I'm not ready. I look atrocious. I'm going with my Sam and we're going to go to an Italian. I'm very excited, but I just wanted to do a little update because I finished The Grandest Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I enjoyed it. I felt like 
I have a lot of opinions, but if you want to see them, go check out my reading wrap up for August, which will have already been uploaded. But I felt like um, I enjoyed it. It wasn't groundbreaking, but I enjoyed it. So that one's done. That's my 68th book of the year so far. And I've just picked up my next book, which is Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. And this is the third book in the Shadow and Bone series. So the last book, very excited to finish it. Don't know exactly where this book's gonna be going. I don't quite know where we're going with the storyline really. <laughs> the last book kind of threw me off a bit and I was like, oh, Hello, it is currently nearly 20 to 5. I was meant to be ready at 5 so I could watch Zoe's new upload because she uploads every day throughout August at 5pm for Vlogist and she's also doing Vlogmas this year so I'm so excited but it is currently 20 to 5 and I have only just put on my eyebrows and on my eyeliner. My hair is up there ready, so we can set it down soon. Just wanted to say hello and jump in and just update the vlog a little bit. So what I've been doing is I edited a video and then pretty soon after I uploaded it, I got my email from YouTube to say that I have been approved for the first step towards AdSense. So I have been approved to have Super Chat on my channel. So that's where you basically can send me super chat options and I get, I can earn money from. I actually forgot to show my outfit. I'm just back from the meal now. This is the dress. I had some really nice heels on and this is the makeup. I had a really nice time. I had such a great time. <laughs> like honestly, I absolutely loved the meal. It was this, oh, so nice. It was so loud though. I cannot focus if there is noise around me. But like to the point where I I can't, like I will just be like, <laughs> like I just, I can't focus. I can't process anything's happening if there's too many sounds. So I really like was like, oh my God, I wish I had a pair of loop earplugs or something. Like I've never tried them, but like I, I was struggling. I was like, Sam, I can't even focus on what we're talking about right now. I forgot so many times what we were talking about. <laughs> but the food was so good. We had garlic bread and we had, I had a margarita, Sam had a lasagna of some sort, and then we shared some fit oils. And now we're going to eat some donuts and watch dance films. <laughs> Honestly, we love dance films so much. I'm about to have makeup off, and that's when I remember I hadn't showed you my face. Probably going to vlog again for like another day and a bit, maybe. I'm not sure. But yes, I'll see you guys soon. This whole autumn video is not really autumn right now. <laughs> it's sunny. I'm going to dry my lipstick. It's like smudged here. Maybe it's bled a bit, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Hello. I just got back from dropping Sam off and I have also just got finished with filming a video. This is how I film my videos. I have my tripod out. I don't always use my tripod. It's like my first time I used my tripod in like a year and I actually really enjoyed it. So my tripod, all the books. This was my wrap up that I did. So if you have not seen that, go check that out because that is up on my channel now. I wanted to show you my lipsticks that I got because I did say I was going to show you them. Bought some lipsticks because I needed some autumnal shades. And when I bought these, it was really autumn me outside, but now it's like really sunny. So it's like a bit annoying, but I got these. So these are Too Faced and Fenty. So first of all, we've got the Fenty one. So this one is in the shade Sheer CO. So let's take it out. That looks like I really knew what I was doing. It took me ages to figure out how to do that this morning. <laughs> this is this shade. It's such a pretty brown. It's like this muted but warm brown. It's a buttercream. I got this one for free because I spent a certain amount of Too Faced. Um, I think it was two for th three for two actually. So this one's buttercream. It's this like muted beige nude. So this one I think I've got on today actually. This is chocolate lava. It's a very nice berry chocolatey shade. This is how it looks. It's just such a beautiful, deep chocolatey red. Finally, we have triple fudge. So it looks really like purpley, but it's not. It's this like dark berry red. It's the next day. And I'm just ending, uh, wow, words. I'm just ending the vlog here because I just, I think it's come to an end. <laughs> it's sunny and autumn vlog has ended here <laughs> i hope you enjoyed i will see you guys on sunday with a new video yes sunday subscribe like and do that stuff and i will see you guys soon with another video
all the links are down below for everything you all possibly want to see my goodreads and everything but i will see you guys soon bye